Hey guys, Dale here from Dale's Rigging and Crank Tips. Hey, yeah, yeah. Look, on today's episode, I'm just going to go with, uh, through with you guys um, just terminology that the crane driver would say and um, what he'll tell you to do if you green and what it means. And so it's very basic. Um, this is catering for just new riggers who are just in the game. You know, you just got your ticket and you're on a crane on Monday, you know. These are the type of terms that some crane drivers will say, all right, when they're referring to your chains and the setup of your rigging. Now, if we come with me, this setup here is your classic, is your classic choke. So this is your choke hitch, all right. The reason for that is it chokes around the load. And the more tighter you pull this, like a dog leash, a dog choker, it chokes the load. So if the crane driver goes, hey man, just choke it, you know that this is what he wants. So that's a choke, all right? One point to uh, point out is you want the hooks facing backwards on the inside. When you choke it, you don't want these, uh, you, you don't want the, um, you don't want the latch on the inside, especially if the angle's really great. The angle's not really great on this one, so probably either or, but if you've got a real wide gap, the angle of your chain will be coming in, and if your latch side is on that side, it, will fuck, it, it, it won't be safe, and that latch isn't good to have chain on it. So you want it on the meat of the hook, on the bowl of the hook like it is, and that's it. So it's your classic choke Pitch. So if the crane driver goes, hey man, just choke it, this is what he means. Alright, come to the next one. Now guys, back again. Back again with the basket hitch. The reason why it's called the basket hitch, because it wraps around it like a basket. Up around, and over top. And what's happened with the chains is the chain's gone through one side and back up to the ring back up to the ring on the other side. So this is a classic basket hitch. If the crane driver goes, just basket it bro, you can go, okay, I know what that means now, I'll basket it. The utility of this is that you're good for more. So with the choke hitch, you decrease by half. With this, I think you keep or you even gain some. But just have a look on the chain um, drawing. So that's it. It also cuts your chains in half. So if you're having height issues, this is a good way to take half your chains out. If you choke it, um, you're going to be really long chained. Now the other thing, say we're doing this truss here. A scenario where you wouldn't basket it is if it didn't have these things to stop it from slipping in. Any load where it can have, where it's got the potential to slip in, you don't want to basket it. See, we could even put the basket on the outside of here on the outside of there, and then there's no chance for it to slip in anyway. So it's got these middle ones, so that's so good. So if it's got the chance to slip in, you want to choke it. If it doesn't, basket it, then you're good for more. So that's a classic basket hitch. All right, let's see in the next one. Hey guys, back again. This is a classic example of a double wrap. So if the crane driver goes, hey bro, double wrap it, this is what it means. And all it means is you put the chain around twice. So before, on the choke, we had it around once. This is a double choke or a double wrap. So you want to go around once and then once again and choke it. That's a double wrap, all right? Now this is utilized on flat stuff. You don't really, I mean, you don't really need to. You can just choke it once, wrap. But if you got anything that's not horizontal and going vertical, anything on an angle, you want to utilize the double the double wrap because they'll stop that from slipping. Especially with these slings when you're doing steel erection, anything vertical, anything on the angle, anything on a 45, you want to really double wrap it. All right, double wrap. Now, guys, this is a four chain setup. And this is what you call the handshake. So if your crane driver goes, hey man, just handshake it, 
This is what this means. Oh, they call it the handshake. As we look under here, the two hooks are handshake together. On each side, handshake. What the utilisation of this is, is if you've got two chains on the hook and you're going from two to four, two to four, you can use this. It's, it's pretty much a basket, but you just connect the chains in the middle. Now you've got to be very careful of when you use this, um, if the chains are going to, if these hooks are going to come in contact with anything, you don't want to use it. If it's not a site regulation or in your country, they've banned the handshake, don't use it. But if you can, it's a good way. It's good if you haven't got the height. If you can't jump up and grab the hooks from from the top of the ring, if your crane driver can't come down, it's a good way. He can just loosen it off and then you undo it from there, from the ground. Comes in useful. Comes in whenever you need to do a basket, but you've got four chains on, you might you might as well utilize it. So that's the handshake. Just handshake it bro. Yeah, right oh. Now, here's an example of back hooking the chains. Sometimes the crane driver will be like, hey man, can you back hook the chains? And you're like, man, back hook? I'm just guessing. Well, this is what it means. Be careful that you get the right hook with the right chain on the right, on the right side. You don't want those crossed over. So take your time to run your hand down, get the right chain, back up to back hook it, all right? Hey Rigger, can you back hook the chains? Yeah, I can, man. That's what it is. Back hooking chains. Now, on, on Australian laws, you can only have two things on a ring. So this is actually illegal, this setup. But if this hammer lock had rings as well, you would go back onto the rings, because each ring can have two things on it. This has already got two chains coming off it, so you can't have four things on it. But in your own country and out and out back in country town, yeah, you can get away with it, but in our laws you can't. But the purpose of this is to show you what back hooking the chain is, and that's what that means. Now, if for whatever, whatever reason you can't handshake it, usually on a round load, um, or on loads like this, or if the handshake is not secure or you're going to damage something or you're going to damage the load and you just you just want the chains you just want the chains around the load you don't want the handshake and what you can do is you back hook two of the chains like we just learned you back hook it back up to the ring and then with these chains you come around and then back up onto the loop all right and then instead of, instead, of, instead of the handshake being there, what we've done is we've bring it up to here. So your hook's right off the load. So it's still a basket, but we've changed the hook height. Now in real terms, what you want to do is you probably want to put shackles off these and then put it onto the hook, because that's probably loin, uh, point loading. And sometimes this is banned in places. But this is just another option. So it's a basket hitch with four chains. Two of the chains are back hooked. And then it gets your connection point up here. Really good if you can't do the handshake. It's another option for you. All right. Now guys, these were just a few terms and a few basic uh, bits of terminology that you might hear from the crane driver. So, just another thing with safety, if any of these hitches or any of these chokes, if you can't do them on site, don't do them. Don't say, oh, mate, Dale told me to do them. But if you can, utilise them. Make sure you get a chain, um, like a chain chart, which tells you what the basket hitch is good for, back hooking your chains is good for, what a choke is good for, what a double wrap is good for, what all those things are good for. Take in mind, you know, point loading. You know, going back onto the loops. Can you do it? Can you do this on site? Now the new charts, the new Nobles charts, which chains we use, they've got all that, so they're really good. So they'll tell you. Make sure what grade of chain it is. If 
it's 80 grade or 100 grade make sure you know so just a safety point just check up on what it's actually good for your hitch all right and if you can't use that hitch if that's banned on your site don't use it all right i'm just giving you terms and if your crane driver's with you he'll know what's up so he'll know if you can do that hitch or not but if he yells at one of the things that have gone over one of the five things i've gone over now you know what it is you know a choke you know a double wrap you know how to back hook the chains you know how to basket it you know how to handshake it you know how to change the hitch of a handshake so it's not on the load it's up, it's up a bit further so all this stuff helps you become a better rigger faster and quicker so you don't look like an amateur for a few months you know what i mean all good guys like these videos subscribe here dowels rigging and crank tips oh yeah yeah